Well, there are lots of places to go for dinner on the cheap, but where do you go when you want the dinner to be an experience? Mm, Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurants join us today here in the CI Kitchen. Our friend Matt McMillan is the executive chef, and you have brought some gnocchi. Absolutely. We've been practicing saying that. <laughs> and handmade it's, gnocchi. It's a classic Italian food. I mean, you we were saying earlier, 2,000 years. It's very old. It's yeah. a very old dish. Um, the one that we do uh, is really special because we use a, a family back in Chicago uh, that rolls every one of these by hand. So there's no wow. two alike. They're like snowflakes. That is so. So it's <laughs> the not snowflakes something... on my dining room table. Yeah. I love that. Right. <laughs> do you roll it out and then cut it, or you just roll each one out and? So these are actually made from a combination of flour. Um, some egg, ricotta cheese, a little bit of nutmeg, salt and pepper, mm. very simple, and some flour to bind it together. Um, it's mixed, then they're rolled into long rolls, cut into about one inch segments, and then actually, as you can see, they're, they're just pushed um, with a little tool to give them a little bit of texture, but then to roll them also and, and thin them out slightly. And so oh. ultimately, are they just dough? Um, it's it's a pasta. I mean, think of it okay. like a pasta. Uh, it just doesn't have the semolina that we're you know accustomed to uh, seeing. But it's it's such a wonderful dish. We actually have three or four dishes on our menu that use these. Really? Okay. So Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurant. We talked a little bit about it's the experience. So what will people experience there in Springfield? Well, we just opened up about three weeks ago. We're right at the White Oaks Mall there, and we're a hundred percent scratch kitchen. You know, we're one of the few restaurants we make everything from scratch in the back of the house. So when you order. Our, your food is being done, and all of our dishes are paired with a, a wine specific for that dish. Wow, yeah. so you have to do a lot of taste testing, I'm sure. Absolutely. To make sure of Absolutely. those pairings. We're actually taking a look, a look right now of the inside of the restaurant. It looks very fancy. Yeah, it's really nice. That's our Arlington Heights, actually, uh, our basement there. We do a lot of uh, events there. And wine oh. tastings and other things. Do a lot too. of wine tastings. You can come and you can taste. The, the beauty of what we do is we're very approachable. Our wines are very drinkable right now, and you can come in and come into the tasting room, find a wine you like, Drink that in the dining room. You can join our wine club if you'd like. It's a great value. And uh, have that wine for dinner. Take some home. But you'll always find something that will suit your taste. Let's talk about the rest of the menu real quick. And then I want to get into the dish. Is that gnocchi is one thing that you guys offer. Right. Is it a mainly Italian menu? Um, we actually have a little bit of everything. You know, um, we have a very diverse group of chefs. So we have some Asian, some Latin. A lot of the things are just Foods that we love to eat that pair great with wine, and we find that that really resonates with a lot of people out there across the country. Yeah. So we're talking comfort food, then. Absolutely. Like. Okay. <laughs> absolutely. I love it. Okay, so well absolutely. Yeah. So you've already got some gnocchi going here. So are we gonna make some something Just else? Just to talk through our ingredients, as you'll okay. see, very very simple dish. Okay. We're gonna we start off with a little bit of oil, and we'll get into cooking that. It's a little bit of butter, pancetta. Which is a uh, a cured bacon. It's not smoked. It has a little bit of pepper on the outside, so you get all the flavor, and the meatiness, and the fat without a smokiness. Okay, um, our gnocchi again, our ricotta hand rolled gnocchi. Um, a little bit of sage, fresh chopped sage. Uh, some chicken stock. On the recipe, um, it actually calls out the different steps, but we just uh, took liberty of adding a couple things here. So it's just some white wine, chicken right. stock, a little bit of cream and garlic, um, chicken. So. The, the chicken that we do at the restaurant, we actually grill it, finish it off in the oven, um, rotisserie it, so to speak. Oh, wow. Great thing is you can buy a chicken already cooked, just pull the chicken, you know, have it for dinner one day, pull the chicken the next day and make a dish like this. Or you can roast a chicken and, and pull the meat apart if you've got a big family. Yeah. Um, and then, real simply, we just we finish it with some peas and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and... A little bit of wine. Good to so go. It, it starts out looking like that, and by the end of the show, it's going to look like this. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what we and like then, to hear. Okay, is that a pretzel roll? That's our that's our pretzel bread that Yum. we serve. Every guest gets a little bit of pretzel bread and some whipped butter. It's a really nice way to start out your night. Such yeah. good stuff, oh man. We've got the recipes online right now, and we're going to be checking back with you in a few minutes Great. to get moving on this. Sounds good? Awesome. Awesome. Matt <laughs> McMillan, the executive chef at Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurant, brand new to Springfield. Check them out. And Check out the gnocchi and those recipes. We'll put them online right now at ciliving.tv.